I'm going on a date. Don't tell my wife. But the date is with my wife. How convenient. Okay. We go out, but it's kind of like we're at the mall. We go get something to eat, whatever. I decided, for no reason, it was date night. So I told her, find something nice, and we're going to go out. Over on Diversion Road, right outside Smallville, near SM City, is Uncle Tom's. Okay, I get it. In the U.S., maybe they know name a restaurant Uncle Tom's. Here, it's not really a big deal. Does not mean the same thing. Yes, I had problems seeing that sign too, but is no worries here. I didn't name it. This is a restaurant for a chicken, ribs, and steaks. We've been here once, many years ago. We would see it from the jeepney, and she saw these big swings, and she was like, I want to go eat there, because I want to sit in the swing. And we were living in the city, in the apartment at that time, and we went one time. We both remembered that we enjoyed it, and we just never really went back. Once we moved from the apartment out and built the house, we were farther away, and this was in an inconvenient location, so it just kind of never stayed on our radar. You know, it's hard for a restaurant to get into the rotation when you're in kind of a rut. I ended up going back just recently with an expat where I was helping him shop, setting up his condo, looking for furniture and such. And we went there and I rather liked it. So I took Melanie on a date. The swings are in disrepair, so we didn't get swings this time, such is life. But we did get steak. Not a bad steak, let me tell you. The restaurant is right on the road. I mean, it's just, you got Diversion Road, the sidewalk, and the restaurant. I mean, you're right there with the traffic. But it's in like a garden setting, so it's not, it looks nice. It doesn't look bad. And, okay, the traffic noise is there, but I didn't actually notice it. And I can hear it in the video, but... I didn't notice it when I was there, because you're just there enjoying the view. To me, traffic noise is just white noise. I can ignore it pretty easily. They do have tables inside in an air-conditioned room, but when we got there, the aircon was not on. They were going to turn it on for us, but it would take so long to cool the room off, it wouldn't really matter. And she said it was nice outside. And it was. There was a nice breeze, so we sat at the table outside in the little garden setting, because inside is just a plain room, so the garden setting was very nice. She ordered fish soup. Not much of a surprise there. It's either that or chicken curry. And I ordered another steak. And this time, they asked me if I would like french fries instead of rice. Because when I ate it before, they brought rice, and I'm not going to eat rice with steak, so I just kind of pushed the rice off to the side and didn't care, but the fries were nice. Steak comes out on a sizzle plate, so it's sizzling, kind of neat. The vegetables are kind of a joke. It's this little, little scoop of mixed vegetables and a tiny little dollop of mashed potatoes. And that's, that's the vegetable. There should be like at least half a cup of the mixed vegetables and at least half a cup or a whole cup of mashed potatoes. I generally try to get a picture of the menu or the ticket so I know how much things are. I did not think of it because we were having a date so I actually was not uh, thinking about filming much. So we got a few pictures so I don't remember exactly how much anything was. Steak was about three fifty, three eighty something, so about seven dollars. And generally, the steaks here 
are pretty tough. There is not, uh, you know, a lot of gristle, tough meat. It's, the beef here is usually very expensive and not very good. Now, there are places with my 1,000 peso steaks, 1,500 peso steaks. I don't miss steak that much. I'm not going to spend that much for a steak. But for, you know, 350, 380 pesos, I don't expect much for steak. I mean, I really was thinking, eh, it'd be it's something to try. But I was there with the expat a couple weeks back, and it was really tender and juicy, and it was actually a really good steak, and I was shocked. It's not a high-dollar steak, but I mean, for here, it was a good steak. So when I went back with Melanie, I tried it again, and it was really good. I gave her a piece of it, and even she was like, hey... This is good because it's so tender. I'm like, I know, right? So I don't know where they source their meat, but it was it's actually one of the better steaks I've had here. I've been to a number of these little sizzle plate, 250 peso steaks, and it's, you know, it's a $5 Filipino steak. They're thin, they're tough, it's a lot of gristle, drowned it in gravy, it's edible. You know, that's what most of the steaks are like here when you go with the cheaper ones. I have been to some of the high dollar steak places where I was not paying. It was an expat's birthday and just unlimited steaks and ribs were coming at Bourbon Street. And the steak was quite good, but it was also ridiculously expensive. But really good. This, for the price, I did not expect much. And it was really, I was pleasantly surprised. It was very good. French fries are crispy. What else do you want? They're crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. What else do you want from French fries? They do come with mayonnaise, so you have to ask for ketchup. But that's not too bad, because they bring out everything. They bring out ketchup and hot sauce and A1 and Lee and Perrins. So they, they take care of, you know, the foreigners. Like, oh, bring the, they know we're going to want that. I'm not really a fan of fish, particularly fish soup. So I did not try the soup. She said it was very good and that she liked it. She ate about half of it, took the other half home. After dinner, we walked a little bit, didn't walk too far. I was going to walk down to the river and just take a look at the river, but she said it was too far away and we needed to get a taxi. I thought a nice out. Actually, I would have walked home because from there you go to the river and then down the esplanade, to the house. It would actually would not have been very far, but I would have at least wanted to go to the river just to take a look at it at night. She said it was too far, so we did not. Then we found out the whole thing is decorated for Christmas already, and there's lights everywhere, and it's really cool, and we should have gone. We'll go later, but we had good time, good dinner, Uncle Tom's has some good food. I'm pretty sure I got the ribs the first time I went many years ago. And I kind of remember that I liked them, but it was so long ago, I really don't remember. So I've had the steak twice, and it's been very good both times. Maybe I'll get the ribs next time just so I can remember. But probably not, because we get ribs so many places, and decent steak is hard to find. So I will probably buy the steak next time and then say, I should have got the ribs. Such is life. Fun was had by all. Date night is always a good idea. You can buy my ebook. Link is in the video description. Thank you. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>